and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where today we're here at the opening day of Hyde Park Winter Wonderland 2022. We're back! We are! So this event's going to be running until the 2nd of January 2023. We do need to book online before you come. It's open every day from 10am through until 10pm and the atmosphere here is always amazing. It really is. And now of course you need to book. Sometimes it's actually free to come in. Other times you need to pay. And also if you're doing things like the ice skating or seeing shows uh, or buying a certain amount of ride tickets, you get entry included. Easy, so bear that in mind. Yeah, check out the website for all them details. But in this vlog, we'll take you around. We'll show you the ride offering for this year. We'll get on some rides, capture the atmosphere, lots of POVs. And of course, talk about the prices for the different rides. If you're going to be coming down here this year. It's always amazing seeing this many rides all together here in Hyde Park, London. And yeah, lots of new attractions for us to get on this year. Let's look at Time Machine the Coaster, a steampunk themed ride. Along with that, there's a steampunk themed star flyer for this year called Aeronauts. And yeah, just over here, we're going to be starting with the new Police Department Funhouse. Look at the size of this. Absolutely insane just how big it is. This looks absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get in here. Yeah, I think we're going to go and start with this one, aren't we? Like yeah, we'll be staying down here through until later on as well, having some nice food, having a nice German breakfast, and along with that, capturing some of the entertainment. There's so much free entertainment here at Winter Wonderland that is always a huge part of the event. But uh, here we go, let's go and check it out. It's the uh, Police Department Funhouse. Look at the size of this. <laughs> oh, it's smoky around here. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the car there is just there as well. New York Police Department. Yeah, this is six pounds per person to come into this fun house, but look at the size of it. So much to discover in here. You're right there, Charlotte. Whee! And our first festive vlog on the channel of the year. Of course, we've got lots coming up. Whoa! <laughs> Just stay tuned here on Theme Park Worldwide. You don't want to see Sean Sandberg go through a car wash. You're about to see it. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, it hurts. I did not even What? <laughs> here we go. We're in the corner scene here now. Having instigated a pull name at Holy Mass last Saturday evening. What do you have to say in your defense? That's the thing with these, you don't know what's on the inside. This is like a subway tunnel. Oh, this is different. <laughs> what's your head coming in here? There's look at the inmates just here in the jail in New York. Oh, he's on the toilet. <laughs> just what I want to say. Merry Christmas. There he is. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh no, we've been arrested. Oh, just before Christmas as well. <laughs> wow, look at this. The TikTok tunnel. This is so cool in here. That is amazing. Oh, look at this. It's so warm in here as well from all the lights. Amazing here in the TikTok tunnel. What a great addition. One, two, three, let's go. Woo! Let's carry on. Yeah, this is actually the world's largest. Mobile fun house as well, which is amazing. Wow, look at this absolutely awesome view looking out over Winter Wonderland. There's Hangover the Tower, we've got Airborne over there, Gladiator, Aeronaut, that new Star Flyer, and so much more. Absolutely amazing. I tell you what, oh, there she goes. Always excited to be seeing Hangover. And a big slide. Oh, it's a finish. Blimey, I'm on the floor. Where's Charlotte? There she is. Hey, fresh delivery. One Charlotte, everybody. If you don't want to take the slide, you can walk down the steps, though, just over there. Hey, Charlotte's been squared just there. <laughs> oh, good quality effects just there. There's even a Yamaha jet ski just down here. That was brilliant. Oh, that was so much fun. And we also got some stickers at the end. We were in there about 15 minutes, which was good value. Yeah, enjoy it. We've got a sticker. The view from up there is great. Shall I have a soaking? What's not to love? Exactly. Right, time for a big ride now. It's back here at Winter Wonderland. It's time to hang over the tower. Let's go. Towering 85 meters above London. It's back, hangover. Charlotte's never been on this before. I've never done it before. You made a promise to me that you were going to do it this oh, year. No, so I'm going to give it a go. Are you going to try it? I'm give it a go. Hey! I'm 
It's massive, but the view is amazing up there. I won't be looking at that view. <laughs> right, let's go in there, jump on hangover just over here. Yeah, this is a beast. I'll tell you what, this will be the best eight pound I ever spend. Eight pound per person, this is it. Charlotte's big moment, we even get the music, the smoke, the lighting. This is the wall, I've waited years for this, folks. Oh, Dr. Roger, back for 2022 over there. Oh, look at this. What an absolutely amazing view. So we got to 40 meters first. You used to get a drop from 40 meters. Now I think you just get a hold there. But look at this view already. Yeah, I think we're still not even halfway up. Wow. But we'll do this in the daytime, show you the event from a height in the daytime. And then obviously get on the star fly probably tonight, do airborne later at night as well. Show you all the lovely lights. What a great view over London. Wow. You okay there, Charlotte? No, I feel sick. Halfway up. <laughs> There's the shard over there. London Eye. What a view. The great thing about this is the restraint, Charlotte, as well. There's not much really holding you in. It's horrible. We're not discussing this. Right, let's have a look at your restraint. This is it's little lap bar. There we go. At the halfway point. And up we go. All the way to the top. <laughs> as we spin round, it's the tallest mobile gyro drop tower in the world. Look at this view. <laughs> Legs are dangling, who else loves a good drop tower? Comment down below. Now we're watching the cycle just those at the top for about five minutes. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Welcome to the top. That is an epic view. <laughs> How are you feeling, Charlotte? I feel sick. Go the on. music as well. <laughs> <laughs> what a view over London. Look at that. All the skyscrapers. Spectacular. There's the BT Tower. Just drop us now, please. Oh, no, you've got to take it in, get your money I, I can't take it, I'm on edge. This is beautiful up there. You really get an idea on the scale of this impressive event as well. <laughs> We've already been up here like a couple of minutes oh, already. Are they? Oh, hey. get you in the mood. Oh, look at the airplanes, they're not even that far away from up here. Don't Sun going down. Stop. Beautiful Hyde Park, London, oh, wow. 2022. I think now's quite a good time to talk about one of the attractions that was always supposed to come but hasn't, unfortunately. And that's Holland Blitz, that was going to be coming in, in for this year for the first time at this event. But yeah, sadly, it's not attended for this year. Hopefully, next year, though. Oh! <laughs> Here we go! Charlotte. It's a beast of a ride, it really is. And I'm so proud of Charlotte for braving it. I'm shaking, that was really scary. For years I've been wanting to see you go on hangover. I've always said no, I'm not doing it, but this year I've done it. You gotta think you used to be terrified of drop towers. No, I've never got on that, but I enjoyed it, but it was scary. Charlotte from five years ago would not have gone on that. You know, so well done. I'm so proud of you for giving it a go. We were held at the top for like three, four minutes. I was just there, like, please just drop, please just drop. Like, yeah, you know, eight pound a ride is expensive, but you get the observation part of it as well. Looking out over London, spinning round. Oh, amazing. Oh, so really proud of you, Charlotte. Of course, there's lots of other activities at this event other than the rides and entertainment. They've also got ice skating, the Magical Ice Kingdom. And yeah, we're going to have a look down at the Angels Christmas Market and the ice skating area now and show you what that's like for this year. And then, of course, get on some more rides. So you got more of your traditional rides around here, such as the Carousel, the Helter Skelter. And yeah, here's the entrance to the Angels Christmas Market. Really, this is what the event started as many years ago now. The first ever Winter Wonderland. And yeah, it's expanded, of course, to now be home to some of the biggest and best travelling rides in the world that come to London each year. Hey, a bit of uh, Mary's Boy Child play in the background. Love it. Oh, Christmas is here, folks. It's finally arrived. Oh, it's so festive, isn't it, Charlotte? No Christmas market is complete without the wooden crafts. Yes. One of our all-time favourites, the wooden crafts, just down here. Lovely. 
even got foam masks that they put in for this event, that's the thing, so you should get signal. It does get very busy. Obviously, it's in the afternoon on the first day, on a Friday, so it's not that busy at the moment, but later on, I think it's sold out tonight, so yeah, it's gonna be busy later on. Now, I do like it around here with all the trees and just a really nice setting, it really is. And of course, plenty of German sausages around as well. One of the best places for live music at the event is the fire pit stage just over here. So yeah, we're going to have a little look. And of course, back for 2022 is the awesome and very magical ice skating rink here. Oh, it nearly went then. Oh, nearly down, nearly down. Still doing a better job than me. Anyway, what do you think to this then, Charlotte? This is really nice. So we found out that with the ice skate well, there's loads of leaves in it. We're not sure if the leaves have fell off and it's set like that or they've done it. But I think it looks really nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks more so like, awesome, doesn't it, down there? Maybe snowflakes would have been better, but uh, no, it does look quite nice. Yeah, literally the frozen underneath that top layer. Now this is lovely and of course they have some live music over here as well. I smell like smoke now after the fire pit just over there. Great venue and of course later we'll head into the famous Bavarian village which is always amazing for live entertainment here. That's me there just walking across. Like no skates on just like yeah walking across here at Little on Ice. I said it last year and I'll say it again. Sounds like the name of an ice show that does. Little on Ice. So magical. All the lights. Christmas is here, folks. This is it. Oh, I do love the ice skating rink. It always looks great here in Hyde Park. And you've also got a few more market stalls and food stands down here as well. And another one of the entrances. Obviously, with it being such a huge event, there's entrances all the way around. Which is really good, to be honest. Yeah, it needs it, especially when it gets busy on an it's evening. Got a lot of capacity. It's good. 100%, but uh, I'm getting ready to go on another ride shortly. Sun's going down now as well. Lovely evening for it here at Hyde Park. It's not too cold, but it's just crisp enough to give it a nice wintry atmosphere. Yeah, going to get on some more rides. So you've got the slingshot just over there that's £9 per person. So yeah, £9 is the top price for rides here at Winter Wonderland. And to be honest, nine quid for a slingshot isn't too bad. I've seen them priced at like £15 before, you know. Sometimes they can be really expensive. So £9, not too bad, but they wear no single riders. Yeah, you have to go on two of you. Well, still, that isn't too bad. Not, Get yourself a nice new hat just over there, Charlotte. <laughs> Now we mentioned on Hangover, of course, how there was going to be a massive, oh, he's ruined about, uh, how there was going to be a massive indoor roller coaster here for this year called Holland Blitz. I reckon it was probably going to go around this area and they've had to redesign the layout a little bit because um, it feels a little bit open and sparse around in this section. Maybe a last minute thing of just trying to put some stuff together. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, luckily, you know, they still managed to fill it around here and you've got this beast that's back over here for this year. Um, but yeah, it does look a little bit bare around here compared to normal. But you've got to think, up until literally a few weeks ago Holland Blitz was still coming and yeah it got cancelled but I'll tell you what is back uh, after an absence of a few years Dr Archibald master of time just over here yeah this is a VR ride not normally a massive fan of VR but this is one of the best VR attractions I've ever done and look at the facade for this as well one of the most impressive facades ever for an attraction. You wouldn't think that this is a traveling ride. I mean, look at all the lighting, the screens, all the theming, the steampunk style vibe of it really is fantastic. And yeah, look at the ride system. It's basically a full on dark ride here, but you wear VR headsets. So yeah, you can't really see much of a film on this one, but I will take you on a little bit uh, and just basically show you the ride system. So obviously we'll have our headsets on. I'll get a bit of footage of that. Oh, this looks fantastic. <laughs> It, it's nice to see it back in London. Definitely. It's been missed, to be honest. Yeah, we've not had it for a few years, but just to see it back here with this facade, really impressive. It's kind of made up for Holland Blitz not being here, because the facade on this really is awesome. Obviously, we were supposed to be having this and Holland Blitz, but maybe next year, let's hope so. This is £9 per person, but I'll tell you what, what a package this is. Let's go and ride. 
Look at all the details just there. <laughs> like an old op cabin for a ride just there. Brilliant, there's the ride system. Oh, looking forward to this. You really wouldn't think it was a temporary ride because it's better themed than most of our permanent rides in the UK. Like, you look at this, and then look at something like oh, Gangster Granny at all these times. And here's a look at the ride vehicles. Yeah, you've got two VR headsets just on the back there. Looking forward to this, Charlotte? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm really excited to get on this again. It was really good last time. Very much enjoyed it. I don't know what you can see on the GoPro, but obviously we're wearing a VR headset with audio and everything. So I don't really know what you can see. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that drop. That's the thing when you're wearing a headset. You don't know what's coming up. Quality is really good on this. There he is, Dr. Archibald. Oh, so good that is. The quality of the VR and the video has been updated since last time. Yeah, the video was completely different, which I wasn't expecting. That's a few years ago. And then you get this really funky accent for the mushroom. It's like a big fun out. And yeah, you see like these mushrooms in the video. And that's steampunk world. Nice backpack there, Charlotte. I'm there. <laughs> Don't fall in the water. I'm there. It gives you like a stair maze vibe, this stuff, doesn't it? Wow, another awesome light tunnel. Year of the light tunnels here at Winter Wonderland this year. This and the police department that we did. Fantastic. Got some very unique footage there looking at Dr. Archibald, Master of Time. Absolutely brilliant attraction that is. I really enjoyed that. The quality of the VR is so good. And in some of the sections where you're going down, you don't realise how steep it is. Yeah, as you saw there from the GoPro footage, I've just looked back at what I filmed, so obviously I couldn't see it because we had the headset on. And yeah, like you just got all the show lights on in there. Yeah, it's such a good job. Yeah, like it's amazing. Like I actually got a bit of footage there actually showing the view as well, which is good. I tell you what, I really enjoyed doing that again. Really good attraction, updated video. And so yeah, nine pounds a person, it is quite expensive. But you're a winter wonderland, we know by now it's an expensive event. You're not gonna come here and do loads of rides, but if you want a unique experience, that's certainly it's one. It's the whole experience, yeah. I really liked it. Even the exit there with exactly. the tunnel and all the mushrooms and everything, it's brilliant. And yeah, you watch it on the GoPro footage and think, that isn't very immersive. When you've got the headset on with the speakers as well. So it's brilliant, like, and you watch that footage, you can think, blindly, they do a really good job with Definitely. that. Excellent attraction. Here's a look then at the Bavarian Village for this year. But yeah, you've got the huge Bavarian Hall around the corner. We've also got this outdoor area with loads of stands and of course, classic bratwurst. Oh, I do love a good German sausage at this time of year. What really makes this are all of the wooden buildings, fire pits, seating areas, festoon lights. And just at the top there, we've got a lovely goat. Better goat park worldwide, everybody. Just at the top there, which is nice. Yeah, we do love a good goat. Fantastic. Mr. Bratwurst over there as well. This always comes alive on an evening round here with lots of entertainment. So we'll definitely be checking that out later on, including the main Bavarian Hall, just off to the left here as well. It's worth pointing out, it is still a family friendly venue round here. Um, you know, kids are allowed inside the different venues and that sort of thing. If you are coming down here as a family, it's not just restricted to adults. It's very family friendly. Here we go, a bit of Michael Jackson. <laughs> just going for it. Let's look at Airborne. Cannot wait to get back on that. I'll wait for it to get a bit darker. Well, look at that. Great to see it back for this year. Here at Hyde Park Winter Wonderlands 2022. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's on at the moment, so we thought we'd come in and see him here in the main Bavarian Hall. Free to enter here at the event. And yeah, the land the legend himself, Joseph, is back for this year. Bit of Macarena going on, love it. Yeah, it always looks great with the lighting in here. And also, when it gets cold outside, it's nice and warm inside here. 
It is lovely. Yeah, great venue in here, and the entertainment's always great. Well, we just thought we'd have a bit of food whilst we're in here. What are you going for? Yeah, so it was £10 for those. So, to be honest, it's winter wonderland pricing. We're used to it by now. Exactly. Yeah, but you've got to eat, haven't you, at the end of the day? Yeah. But yeah, that's what it's all about. I've got some chips, and I'm going to get a nice bratwurst when we go outside. They do them in here. However, I'm a bit fussy with bratwurst. I like them doing it on the fire. These ones are just done on the grill over there. I like it on a proper fire outside for that taste. So, yeah, I'll get one in just a moment. Hey, baby! Ooh. Ah. I want to know. Will you be my girl, Charlotte? Oh. Merry Christmas. Hey, hey, baby. I want to know if you'll be my girl. Come on, Joseph. What a legend. The highlight of the year is coming, my opinion. I love the rides. We are theme park worldwide, after all. But you know what? There's nothing like coming to Winter Wonderland here in Hyde Park in London. I mean, I've German sausage. Here we go. Very <laughs> quick, everybody. Probably the best seven pound fifty I've spent all year. Delicious. Well, that bratwurst sausage was absolutely delicious. Very expensive, but tasted so good. Now imagine how we got some brand new rides here for this year. Here's one of them. Smoke's pumping out. It's Discovery. Look at this. Manufactured by KMG. I'm looking forward to getting on here. Look at that hang time though. Oh my God. Hangs you upside down for ages. Are you going to come on, Charlotte? What do you think? No, definitely not. It looks quite intense, this does. Bit of the crazy frog playing as well. Nothing screams Christmas like the crazy frog. Yeah, this was really interesting. It's like a top spin, but it also goes side to side as well. So yeah, let's go and get on Discovery. New for this year at the, at the event. Great to see. Here we go then, five pounds to ride. And yeah, what a great position for this ride. Looking out over Olympia looping and the big city star wheel there as well. Wow, what a view. Always good to see a new ride coming here to Winter Wonderland. So yeah, looking forward to seeing how this rides. Woo, here we go. Hey, oh. <laughs> Oh, it's got quite a kick to it, actually. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey. Kind of like a mini top spin. No. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Oh, what a great view. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant there. Great to see, of course, Olympia Looping back again for another year. Or Munich Looping, as they call it here in London. Oh, we can hear some smoke pumping out. <laughs> Oi! <Hi>. Oh! That's <laughs> got quite a bit of kick to it though, it's good. Massive bulky restraints though. Which is a shame. I don't think the restraints need to be quite as bulky as they are. Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh, blimey! Whoa! That Bradburst coming up now! Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, that hole! Oh, blimey! That is forceful! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Guys, an intense machine, this is! Woo. That's it, got the old vertical fogger in action! Oh my god! <laughs> that is forceful! Oh, they're twisting side to side now! And that awkward bit of hang time. <laughs> well, the blood just rushes to your head. Oh, what a view. And that new star flyer looks awesome as well with the lighting. Oh, how lovely. Sitting here, blood rushing to your head. Oh, lovely. Crazy frog. <laughs> This operator loves the crazy frog. Woo! Oh, I'm really surprised at how much kick this thing's got, to be honest. Good cycle as well, not too busy. 
That's the thing at these fairs, if it does start getting busier, the cycles will get shorter. So I recommend getting on some of these whilst it's not too busy. Oh, smoky. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just sit here now and chill out. Oh! <laughs> I feel like my feet are going to hit the back. Oh! Hey! <laughs> That's it, I think. There we go. That was quite good. Not very forceful. All right, Fuzzy's there from my ride on Discovery. Would you fancy that, Charlotte? Oh, I wouldn't fancy that. There's a lot of in there. Yeah, it really spins a lot, and it was pretty forceful, actually. Really intense, that How was. was the upside down hole? I'm not a big fan of them yeah. holes, to be honest. It always brings you back them submission at Alton Towers memories. Oh, yeah. Worst part of the ride is holding upside like down. But yeah, it was pretty good, that five pound, three and a half minute cycle. Yeah, yeah I definitely recommend that. giving it a go. It's good. You know, it's right. not one for the faint hearted. It's a very intense ride, that is. I think because it's a compact attraction, uh, the inversions uh, you know it really feels a lot like more forceful it. than you were expected uh, yeah it was very good that was a lot better than I thought it was going to be while it's back and it looks just as impressive as ever Olympia looping known as Munich looping here in London here it is at Winter Wonderland and you know what this attraction is always really impressive to see. First time I went on this, I was very emotional to ride it. But here she comes, the five Olympic rings just here. Last time I went on this coaster was earlier this year in Austria at Vina Preto, the first time I'd actually ridden this away from London. And it was great to ride it there in Austria. So check out the blog if you've not already seen it. One year though, I'd love to ride this at the place where it premiered all them years ago. Oktoberfest. I'm not talking about the one at Thorpe Park. I mean the actual Oktoberfest, the very famous Oktoberfest roller coaster. Yeah, one day I'll get out there to ride it. I'd really love to. We are, of course, be getting on this again later tonight. Why well, it's been coming to Winter Wonderland for many years now, the Haunted Mansion. Six pounds per person to ride. And you know what? It's always a good fun one to come and experience here at Winter Wonderland. I've done it many times over the years. I'm not going to do it tonight. However, it's always great to show you the facade for this because it's really impressive. I mean, look at this. So many details on here. It's a suspended dark ride. It is one of those that looks better out the front than it does when you're on ride. Don't get me wrong, it's still great on ride, but the facade is the most impressive it's thing. So good. There's so much going on, so many animatronics. Yeah, the screens, there's all sorts. We've got him who's playing the violin just over there as well. Like, it is amazing. And I think every year, they always do some upgrades to this, like whether it's changing some of the visuals or new props, all the time they're updating it. And yeah, part of the condition for rides coming here to Winter Wonderland is that they Christmassy buy them as well. Yeah, as you can see with this, you had all the nice garlands and icicle lights on here. You have the graveyard, the Grim Reaper down there. There's a scarecrow animatronic. And yeah, this guy just here. And I like how he's got a candy cane there as well. But yeah, absolutely brilliant attraction. Six pounds to ride this year, the Haunted Mansion. Six pounds for atmosphere this year, just next to Olympia Looping. And there it is, the gorgeous city star wheel. Amazing here at Winter Wonderland. It's massive. And yeah, the colors on there really pop as well. And here's a look at one of my favorite bars at the event. This is the Arctic Lodge Bar. Yeah, there's the lodge itself at the back. You'd think that this was set up here all year with it being a massive building. But there is all temporary for Winter Wonderland. This whole event is. After the event, they relay all the grass and there's nothing to be seen other than Parkland. It's crazy when it's all gone. Oh, it is. I mean, we had a walk through in the summer, you know, and it's amazing when you see what a transformation it is for this huge scale event. Well, you've got the awesome fire department funhouse just here as well. Six pounds per person. We did this last year and yeah, it's fantastic. And yeah, you've got the little drop tower off to the side there as well, which is really good fun. Obviously that's included as part of the price going on this ride. So yeah, you get like two for one, fun house and a drop tower, that one. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? I mean, it's always nice doing new things. And that's the great thing about the event this year. There's quite a lot of new rides. Shame we didn't get Holland Blitz. But, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully next year, fingers crossed, it will come over. Well, yeah, we've got uh, Santa just over here to the right as well. Santa's Santa Grotto, Claus. main man himself. And yeah, Eurocoaster's move locations this year. That's up here. 
normally have a spinning coaster up here instead. But yeah, they've got Euro Coaster, which looks like it's had a new sign on top. for a ride then on Euro Coaster that you can see just here. Very popular family coaster here at the event, this one. It's always got a queue. Nice little family invert. Awful track profiling on this one, but it does look pretty. Yeah, it's had a brand new sign for this year as well. It's Euro Coaster. Yeah, new location for this year here at Winter Wonderland. Now the event's got some awesome family attractions too, and you can see some of those just down here, including Santa's Sleigh Ride. Well, if you ever fancied riding on the back of a reindeer, you can do that too. Here at High Park Winter Wonderland, I feel like sending Charlotte on there. I think you'd be oh, funny on that. Thank you so much. I think because there was nobody on that oh, one. Susan. I don't know, this one's got somebody on though. Yeah. And it's bounced about quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, look at this penguin upside down. Oh. Lots of classic juvenile rides around here. And they tend to be about three pounds to ride for these just around here. you got the little helicopters there. That's quite cute, isn't it? And here's a fire truck. I loved that when I was a kid. Fire rescue. Oh, that's great. I love that. And one of my all-time favourites at Christmas is just round this corner. Always looks really nice. I say one of my all-time favourites, like I ride it every time. I think I've been on this once. It's the Christmas tree bauble ride. And that's just round this corner here. And we can see it in action. You actually sit in a bauble and go up round the Christmas tree. There it is. I do think that is lovely. There we go. <laughs> Always looks the part. The issue is that if you own this ride, you're only making money this time of year, aren't you? Because I don't think it changes into something else, this one. There you go. Look at all the baubles all the way around the outside. Yeah, it's nice, that is. A little family Christmas tree ride. That's the thing. It's not all about the big thrills here at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. There's a lot for the families and, of course, the kids as well. But one of the most popular attractions down here is the ice slide. It's £5 a go. And, yeah, there's a look at the slide section itself just over there and yeah five quid it's one of the cheapest experiences here so yeah you can see why it's quite busy look at this massive cattle pen queue for this one like it's very popular fun, isn't it? yeah i did the ice slide a few years ago down here but the thing is in the magical ice kingdom you do get a little ice slide in there and we will be covering that in a separate vlog coming up in the next couple of days yeah stay tuned for that there's the entrance to the magical ice kingdom just over there and yeah that's a ice sculpture walkthrough that is really good it's well worth filming a dedicated video to that one so we can really go into detail yeah this always looks nice here all the christmas trees on the side to make this archway and that looks really cool and then you got santa that's up there and all his reindeers well really enjoying our night so far here at high park winter wonderland great to see this event back for this year so good. It really is. It's getting busy now. People are coming in and everybody loves the iconic archway just here that looks amazing with thousands of lights. Probably the best photograph you'll take in the event. All the archways down here with the carousel bar down there at the bottom. Lovely this is. Really pretty. Winter Wonderland baby. Back in London through until the 2nd of January 2023. And up this end of the event, you've also got more of the Angel Christmas Market as well. So don't just think you've got the bottom section if you want the market stalls. They're all the way up here as well, including the crepery. Oh, the you love a good crepe, don't you? Beautiful indeed. And yeah, Zippo Circus is just around here as well. We've seen Zippos quite a few times here now at Winter Wonderland. And it's always a really good show. So I definitely recommend it. Yeah, you've got the mini Starfly just here. They've got three at the event this year, two smaller ones. And also the big one, the new one, Aeronauts, that we will be going on later on. Getting some footage of that tonight in the dark. Lovely this is around here. Just walking around, the music, the atmosphere. And yeah, the carousel bar just down the bottom, which is really nice. It's basically a free ride because you can just go and walk on there and just do a lap round if you want to. Why not? That's what it's all about. You can come here and not really spend much at all, to be honest, if you want to. You can just walk around, get one of the free time slots, soak in the atmosphere you don't need to go on the rides here like i say it's not about coming here and going on 10 15 rides i'd imagine most people that come here 
probably come and do maybe two, three rides maximum. Yeah, not loads of rides. You just enjoy the atmosphere. It's expensive, you know. It, it really is. It could cost a fortune. And, and you've got a thing for us, obviously, we film the vlogs and always try and show you what there is here. But if we were to ride everything every oh, time, God, yeah, you'd be talking like over a thousand pounds if we were to do like both both of us on all the rides like you know maybe even more than that it's crazy money really but that's the thing it's about the atmosphere it's soaking it all in i'll tell you what the skyline's probably the best this year though i think the new star flyers lighting is much better than the mellows one so you got another fun house down here as well the yeti ride that's always good fun and yeah i like how everything's got a kind of circus theme down here you got it's a small world adventure just over here as well and it even plays that classic disney music but yeah, it's a nice little dark ride this it's a bit short however yeah it's got some dolls and other props around to see and basically you sit inside a ferris wheel gondola that's on a track that takes you around but yeah here we go it's a small world adventure right next door to the circus this year so yeah five pound for an adult four pound for a child for it's a small world and yeah you got dumbos just there you got the balloons quite a lot of juvenile rides a couple of smaller coasters around here as well as you can see just over there you got the family coaster and yeah it's nice around here you got the dodgems as well and also the dive bomber booster which is over here so yeah, we don't normally have this at the event it's another ride just a standard booster that they've got down here they're yeah, six pounds for a ride on that one i don't know how well that's going to do this year especially compared to some of the bigger stuff you know i mean you've got gladiators around there you know so it's only an extra couple of quid so yeah definitely i mean hopefully it does well but yeah the dive bomber just down here in the circus area Well, of course, we're filming this vlog on the first night for the event. And yeah, usually everything will be available. However, unfortunately, Ice Mountain still isn't quite ready yet. and won't be opening until tomorrow at the time of recording. So yeah, if you come in from Saturday, you will be fine. But uh, yeah, they've done some enhancements to the front for this year. Put even more decor out the front, a little bit of new lighting. And yeah, it looks really nice. They've actually got a crash plane set piece just up there on the left. It's hard to see, actually, from this angle. Let me move a little bit further forward so you can see that up here there you go you got a plane just at the top and some really nice photo opportunities i love these snow covered trees but yeah it's not like them to not have a ride ready but obviously safety is paramount i'm not too sure on the price because i can't see it yet um but yeah obviously they're still getting it set up in there this is one of mellas rides and obviously this year mellas haven't got their star flyer here either so yeah i bet they're a bit gutted that it's not ready for the first night because they're missing out on quite a bit of revenue aren't they really um, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be open. It's a popular oh, ride. It's a great ride. Yeah, really popular. Obviously, it's an indoor spinning coaster with all the laser and smoke effects. And yeah, the facade is amazing. Of course, this facade was built just for Winter Wonderland. It actually stays in storage all year at the Mellor's Yard in Nottingham. Uh, and then, yeah, it comes out just for Winter Wonderland. And obviously, it did appear at Fantasy Island for a period too. Just around the corner then from Ice Mountain, you've got Snow Jet following on with that theme around here. Matterhorn ride, five pounds to ride. Always looks impressive this one. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> Well, it's an absolute beast. Look at the size of this. Brand new Starflyer here for this year. Yeah, Aeronauts. And yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. I've not been on the Starflyer here that was owned by Nellers for quite some years. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going on this one. I've got to say the lighting package looks awesome on there as well. And yeah, I'm not too sure about the cycle. It doesn't seem to be up there a very long time. However, yeah, it is Winter Wonderland. You know, it's starting to get a bit busier now as well to be expected but with it being a new ride we're gonna have to go and check it out aren't we i mean look at this looks really nice and also it's not just about the ride itself it's got some good theming so let's go and have a look at that oh it looks gorgeous doesn't it this steampunk themed and that's the thing for me i love it when the showmen go to town with the decoration all oh, this is really nice and you know it draws people in some people might think oh that looks gorgeous let's go and have a ride it's not always about the ride experience, Aeronaut 1880. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's eight tokens per person, eight pounds to ride. High voltage warning on this one as well, so no touching the railings. <laughs> yeah, let's go and have a ride on here. This is very nice. Wow, this is a big ride. It's 80 meters tall, 
manufactured in 2019 and yeah really excited to give this a go wow look at the signage over there as well really nice addition to the event we are happy to welcome you on board of the aeronauts Woo! we wish you a pleasant journey oh it's gonna be good it's gonna be cold though charlotte are you ready there hunt up <laughs> First time in London and the view already. Oh wow, look at this. The tallest one of these that transports around anywhere in the world. Oh wow, look at this. Winter Wonderland, baby. <laughs> Guys, massive. There's a Bavarian village. Wow, oh it's fast. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> You. Amazing, we're like as tall as the wheel. Woo you got airborne going round there as well. Talk about good timing. That's airborne. Oh, towering over London. You probably can't hear me much. Are you alright, Charlotte? <laughs> wow. There's the London Eye over there, lit up in purple. Battersea Power Station. What a view, what a view. All the thousands of lights, back up we go again. <laughs> and yeah, you can really see crowd levels from up here. To be honest, it's not heaving here tonight. I thought it would be, opening night, somewhere really busy. But it does get busier closer to Christmas. Oh, this is cold now. <laughs> What a view! Fantastic! Oh, that was really nice. Great way to see over the events and take it all in. Yeah, that's a lovely addition to this year here at Winter Wonderlands. Beautiful. Great lighting package as well. Look at that. Stunning. We're so lucky to have this event here in the UK. It's expensive, but blimey, it's worth it. When you see views like this, amazing. Well, we had an absolutely awesome but freezing ride there on Aeronaut 1880. Really enjoyed that. Oh, that was fantastic. The views were so nice, seeing all the lights. It was lovely, but I'm so cold. <laughs> a great new addition to Winter Wonderland for this year. And yeah, themed experience as well. Well worth it for eight pounds. You know, about a two and a half minute cycle. Anyway, I've got myself a nice hot chocolate here now. Three pound 30 uh, for this tiny hot chocolate. <laughs> But uh, you know what, I was freezing after that. I was sat in the uh, little Alpine bar here, inside a cable car. Indeed. Here we go, where are we going in this? Where is it taking us? I'm not too sure, to be honest. Going skiing maybe, I'm not maybe. sure. But yeah, we've got some more rides coming up. Of course, Olympia looping, airborne, and of course, capturing more of the awesome atmosphere. Lovely relaxing ride on the cable car just there. Are you going to be getting off at this stop? Yeah, is this Winter Wonderland? Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tradition from Charlotte just there. Lovely. Lovely. There we go down here at the Bavarian Village. You got the Epray ski party just there. Another fun house. Got some big fun houses at this event. And just next door, one of the best rides at the event, in my opinion. It was new here last year. It's back for 2022. The one and only Airborne. And this one's actually operating. I'm looking forward to getting on this. They've got one at Barry Island. But yeah, unfortunately, when we went, we didn't get on it earlier in the year but it doesn't matter because we got airborne just here and look at this absolutely amazing lighting package on here it's a beauty it's a beast of a ride and it's great to see it again here in london gonna get a great view no charlotte coming on this one it's just gonna be me <laughs> the hot chocolate was nice yeah lovely i tell you what though it's a bit chilly isn't it now Ooh, a bit chilly but yeah, here we go come and join me for a ride on airborne this is an absolute monster Look at this beauty. Here we go then. Eight pounds to ride. A oh, well worth it in my opinion. One of the best ever rides here at this event. 
<laughs> what a view. One of the biggest rides here. And wow, look at this. Absolutely amazing view. Looking out over there, Aeronaut, which is awesome. The City Star Wheel, and yeah, now we're just going to chill out at the top for a few minutes whilst they load up the other side. That's the thing with these. <laughs> Got to load up the other side, and then we'll be off. Oh, I've been looking forward to this all year. <laughs> oh, amazing. Eurocoaster, Zippo Circus, the wheel, Olympia looping down there, on all the Bavarian village. Makes you appreciate all the back of house as well that's required. I mean, look at all the tents around the side there. Amazing. The setup and scale of this event, very Yay. impressive. Whoa, tell it forwards. Here we go. Right, I'll come back to you in just a minute when we get going. Oh, here we go. On the KMG Speed 32. <laughs> oh, we've been hanging at the top like three minutes. But again, it acts as a bit of an observation ride. Get your money's worth eight pounds as well. There we go. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! There's Charlotte. Hey! Woo! Oh Woo! yes! Woo! <laughs> We're gonna see Charlotte at the side. There she is. Hey! Woo! Woo! Oh wow! Woo! London! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this guy's loving it next to me. What a scream! <laughs> Woo! Hey! <laughs> Woo! 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 Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Honestly, this ride, oh, I love it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow. Woo! <laughs> Brilliant. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's so good. And the best thing is... The restraint's not that tight on here at all. You got loads of room to breathe. Makes it even more scary. What a scream that guy's got. Honestly, that's one of my favorite things about going on rides. Listening to other people's reactions. He's loving it. Or hating it, one of the two. <laughs> oh, it's cold though, I know that. I'm going to need another. Oh! <laughs> oh, blimey. Oh, slowing down. Yeah. Good, you enjoyed that? No, he didn't like it. Woo! Oh, London. Wow. Beautiful ride. It's airborne. Back for 2022. Wow. All right, footage there from the absolutely awesome Airborne. It's great to see it back here in London. It's one of my favorite ever traveling rides. I love it so much. It's just an overall package with all the lighting. It's a monster of a ride. And yeah, the forces on there are brilliant as well. And like I say, the fact that the actual restraint isn't too tight on there as well really adds to the fear factor. And like you heard there in the footage, the guy next to me, I don't think he was enjoying that. He's scream on there. Probably one of the best reactions I've ever heard on a ride. Yeah, it was really good getting back on that. Beautiful attraction. And much like last year, it's only eight pounds to ride, which I think personally with something that big like that really isn't that badly priced at all. Quite a lot of the rides here, you know, are like six pounds, and they're some of the smaller ones. In fact, you can pay an extra two pounds and go on something massive like that. It's a monster of a ride. Brilliant. I absolutely love Airborne. Amazing ride, but I'm freezing now. So I think we're going to go back in the Bavarian village for a little bit. Back here then in the very atmospheric Bavarian village. And whoa, what have you got there, Charlotte? What a shandy bath. <laughs> I don't know why. Part of the shandy, three pound eighty. There we go. Charlotte with the shandy, everybody. Merry Christmas. You get me with a nice bratwurst. And Charlotte with the shandy, just uh, lovely. Nice shandy, everybody. Joe just back on again. YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay 
And the live band in there as well. We are the champions. All right, it's great to have this event back. And then you step outside, you see all these rides, the lights. Oh, amazing. Well, I'm ready for another ride now, so we're going to head down this way. So let's go and go on something. Much busier now then than it was earlier on. That's why really it is worth coming into this event before the crowds get too busy. However, that does also add to the atmosphere. Now, yeah, imagine now they've got three star flies this year. Here's another one. What's quite interesting about this one is the seating position because, yeah, you don't sit next to each other. You sit one in front and one behind just there. Yes, that's quite interesting. And it's got a large animatronic dragon down at the bottom. So we're going to take a look at that now as we make our way round to one of our all-time favourite travelling coasters. It's a Mack Ride special. It's Wild Mouse XXL. Here he is. Look at that. Absolutely awesome animatronic in the queue for this. It is six pounds to ride. You gotta think for a couple of pounds more you can go on the big star fire. Well yeah, it's got unique seating and you do get to appreciate this lovely animatronic from outside here. There you go, that's quite cool. That's probably one of the first large scale animatronics we've seen here. Oh, this is really cool. Nice that, isn't it? Yeah, how cool are these eyes and everything that open up. There we go, he's turning around to say hello now to all the viewers. This evening here on Theme Park Worldwide, here he is. Oh, oh, he's lifting his neck up. There he is. <laughs> yeah, he's welcome, I love that. More awesome rides here at Winter Wonderland. Like I say, if you're going to go on everything, you can spend a fortune here. Well, yeah, there's a look at Gladiator, which is this big booster, which is a really good ride. I've been on it in the past. Not going to do it tonight, but maybe next time we come, we always have a few visits down here to Winter Wonderland. I like to do a visit in December, a bit closer to Christmas as well. And there's a look at XXL, just behind it there as well. Not Wild Mouse XXL, that's around here. More chestnuts there as well for Charlotte. Chestnuts? <laughs> Every time we see chestnuts, Charlotte sings that. And there's Hangover at night. I'm so proud of Charlotte for going on that. But yeah, it's got a massive queue all the way down here. But it is good through, but it's a Mack ride after all. And yeah, no trims on this bad boy. We love it. Wild Mouse XXL. Let's go on. Oh, it's getting busy on the paths out there now. Nearly eight o'clock, a couple of hours left of the event. And yeah, you got a fun house in the queue for this one. Are you ready for your ride, Charlotte? <laughs> so yeah, it's eight pounds for an adult, six pounds for a child. Yeah, it's one of the only rides really that actually has a price difference for an adult and a child. So that's really good. Hey. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've waited about 25 minutes. This has been the queue all the way down here. It's a popular ride, this one. Everybody loves it. Hashtag no trims. Let's go and have a ride on Wild Mouse XXL. What a structure. Yeah, look at this. He's busy. We've just waited all the way down here. Of course, the pay booth's down there. All this long queue. He's busy. Well, yeah, luckily at this point, oh, we're about five minutes till we're on. Walked off the step then. <laughs> I'm sure I do that every year. Off we go then. A Wild Mouse XXL. This is always one of the highlights of this event. Look at the beautiful lights. Are you ready, Charlotte? Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Lights on the lift, all the archways. Hang 
over going up just there. Wow. This is London at Christmas. Oh, it's like he's going straight off the edge. Look at this. Hold on tight. Woo! Oh. oh, no shrimps, please. Woo! Oh my God. Whoa! It's so scary on these corners. It's like, what? <laughs> Whoa! Who needs brakes? That's all this ride shows. Back rides. Whoa! <laughs> Epic views. A lot of screams. Whoa! <laughs> it's cold now. Woo! Woo! Keep on riding. Oh! <laughs> it's ridiculous. One tiny trim there. Whoa! Here we go. Oh! Airtime. Wow! <laughs> it's wild. Act on. Woo! Honestly. Oh, oh blimey. How was that? So oh, absolutely epic that is. What a beast of a ride, honestly. One of the highlights of Winter Wonderland that is. Look at our photo. <laughs> That's one of the most fun roller coasters I've ever been on. I love that so much. Oh, it's so good, but there's hardly any trips. It's just so fast. It's brilliant. Like, there's only that little one near the end there. And even that's nothing. Like, it hardly slows you down for the corner. You are whacked straight into the corners on that. It literally feels like the train's going to come flying off. It's so much fun. Amazing, that. It's one of the best family coaches out there. Like, it's brilliant, that is. Oh, I love it so much. It really is an amazing ride. And with the epic views across Winter Wonderland as well, it really is awesome. Well, of course, nice action packed vlog tonight here from Winter Wonderland covering the event. Got some more shots coming up for you, just capturing the atmosphere. And of course, a ride on Olympia Looping coming up shortly as well. Well, here she is with them five Olympic rings. Olympia Looping back for this year. Looks like we got two trains in service tonight on this. And quite a big queue. I'm surprised it's not on three trains, to be honest. But yeah, that one's just clearing the block there. Other ones on the lift hill. And here we go, we're going to take you all on for a nice ride on this absolute classic here in London. amazing operations about 10 members of staff in the station it does get a bit of a free-for-all though you just got to try and jump on a train on these busy nights but look at this really gotta make the most of this classic over 50 lorries transport this to the uk what a great view over london here we go right down near the back Woo! oh yeah Look at this. It was great riding down Prato. Getting back on it here in London. Here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Absolutely epic. <laughs> Ride. 
Sutton from start to finish. The force is on there. 5.2G on that beat. That's it, Olympia Lupin. Oh, what a way to wrap up tonight. That was brilliant, that was. Absolutely brilliant, as always. I'll never forget my first time going on that. An absolutely awesome back car ride there on Olympia Looping. Yeah, wait about 15 minutes, and you know what? The operations on there, fantastic. Getting them trains sent out, three in operation, and not really stacking at all. Like, brilliant. Absolutely amazing. What an atmosphere. And yeah, what a ride to get on down here tonight. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Five rings just there. And yeah, we're lucky to have this here in the UK. I can't imagine Winter Wonderland without this coaster here now, to be honest. Look at it go. So smooth, so intense. What a classic. Well, it's been an action-packed vlog. We've had a good walk around, got on plenty of rides, watched the entertainment, had a German sausage. Charlotte's had a nice shandy over there. Oh, nice you know. <laughs> Overall, a very wonderful evening here at Winter Wonderland. But yeah, we're just going to have a little walk around, get a few more shots, and we'll wrap up tonight's vlog. Oh, it's absolutely heaving now. Look at this. Wow. Well, we went on it earlier on in the vlog, but there's a look at Dr. Archibald that night just there, which looks absolutely amazing with that lighting package. Beautiful. Well, you've also got the carousel bar just here as well, which is always good. We've just got a real carousel in the middle. Spin him round there, Charlotte. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I love it, the carousel bar here at Winter Wonderland. Well, the police department funhouse looks awesome there. I think you got that new spinning coaster for this year, Time Machine, the coaster, just over here. We had one of these here last year, Heidi the Ride, and yeah, that actually had a launch lift deal. That also had this curve just over to the left there that you can see. Really good fun. So this is a new coaster credit for me to get, but you know what? I'm going to save it for next time we come down here. We'll be having another vlog from Winter Wonderland in December. So yeah, we'll definitely get on Time Machine, the coaster then, and give that a try. It's only another spinning coaster. We'll definitely give it a go next time. brilliant night here at the opening night of Hyde Park Winter Wonderland 2022. Oh, I've really enjoyed it. Got a lot busy towards the end. The atmosphere was just fantastic. It's always a great atmosphere walking around here, but I do remember when it used to be free to go in all night and it would always be heaving. So it's nice in a way that um, they do cap the visitor numbers Yeah, now. so it's not like too, too busy. I remember before it could take like an hour to walk from one end to the other. It's just so busy. Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of glad that they do cap it now. It makes it a more enjoyable experience. But I tell you what, we got loads of rides in tonight. Good What's loads. been some of your favourites? I'm so happy that I did Hangover. I'm really proud of you, I'm Charlotte, so for doing happy that. I did it. 85 meter tall drop tower. Like I say, five scary. years ago, you'd never have done I that. I wouldn't. It was so scary. Wait, you didn't even do it last did year. It. Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm so glad you did it. Honestly, I'm that's so the thing. Pleased. And we're all about that on this channel. It's about trying things. If you don't like them, you don't have to do them again. But Charlotte did it. And you, exactly. would you say you enjoyed it? I don't know. It was quite scary, to be honest. I don't know if I would <laughs> do it again or not, but I'm glad that I've done it. I really enjoyed Dr. Archibald again really tonight good. that was fantastic of course airborne which is one of my favorite ever rides oh, olympia looping mouse. some of the new bits that we've done wild mouse has been amazing you know what as always it's another fantastic year for this event it's a shame holland blitz didn't come because that would have probably made it the best winter one
wonderland ever however there's still a brilliant ride offering here this year um, and yeah it is expensive if it you is. come in here but it's not all about going on loads of rides at you this can event. just come and have a walk around and enjoy the atmosphere yeah definitely there is still some free slots like i say we got one this afternoon to come in you don't always have to pay to enter so it could be completely free if you exactly. didn't ride anything you know it's walking around soak up the atmosphere do a couple of rides here and there obviously with our vlogs we like to try and show as much variety as we can but even we don't go on everything because no, it would cost it literally would. a fortune it would cost so much <laughs> but uh, there we go thanks very much for joining us here on theme park worldwide whilst we're still here in london uh, we're going to be visiting babylon park charlotte's not being there i'm not there i'm looking forward to it yeah the uk's newest indoor theme park in camden along with that as well uh, we're going to be coming back to winter wonderland and doing the magical ice kingdom in its own video oh, really? and of course we'll be back at winter wonderland next month after our awesome europe trip that's coming up uh, we're going to efteling europa park and fantasia oh, land wait. so this is the first of many christmas vlogs coming up here on the channel but so uh, there we go that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you all in tomorrow's vlog